Okay. Today I have my bike with me, got my camera, we're gonna explore Austin and see what they have to offer. And look at that, isn't that amazing? Give me my donut. That is why you don't vlog and cycle. <sighs> okay. Yeah, bad fall. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, my glasses mm. made it. Mm. <gasps> My bedroom. Okay. So, oh. Never mind. Okay. This part's gonna get a little bit teary and sappy. So if you're not in the mood for crying, um, go ahead and skip to this part. And so I want to share what happened to Sky. Um. Many of y'all know Sky was my border collie he was like my companion my best friend he was literally the greatest dog and he, i did everything with him you know i would go to the gym i would take him i would go cycling town lake i would take him i even take a shower and he <laughs> would want to stay in the bathroom with me he would sleep on my bed um Everything I did, I did with Sky. You know, Sky. It also had its separation issues, so that really helped. You know, I would even take Sky to work with me, and I remember I would thank God every day to be able to have such a blessed job that I can take Sky to work with me because I work outdoors, and Sky would just you know play with the customers while I make them coffee, and it's just such like the best of both worlds. And so for a year. That was just me and Sky. We did everything together. Uh, for a year, he would come to work with me and he knew my routine. W woke up 5 a.m., go for a walk, go to work. He would stay in the lobby while I make coffee. He would play frisbee and throw catch with the customers. That was our thing for a year. Then on October 7th, a Saturday, an extremely busy day uh, where I worked and it was ACL. 
it was like none other day, you know, I thought I'd take my dog to work with me that one Saturday because after work I would be going to ACL and I didn't want him to be locked in the room the entire day so I thought maybe work can tire him out. It's around 8, 9 a.m. which is our like prime time for people getting coffee. I was in the back making drinks. My boss, Emily, was on register and you know, I was just in doing my thing, making coffee. And then all of a sudden I hear a customer said, uh, I think your dog just got hit by a car. And I, I in the moment wasn't really paying attention so I didn't really care to like attend that. I kind of just continued my thing. And then my boss Emily came to me, she's like, Jillian, go check on Skye. Um, I think you should take him home. So I didn't think it was a big deal. I thought maybe people are just like, you know, like exaggerating, the sky's fine, you know, it's not that big of a deal, whatever. So I'm like, okay, fine, I'll take Sky home. So I stopped what I was doing, went outside the trailer and went to my car and Sky is very smart, you know, he always listens to my commands. So as I walked to my car, I'm like, come on Sky, let's go. Like he's over on the other side. I'm like, come on Sky, let's go. And I'm like, hmm, first I didn't hear him. And then finally, I decided to go around the other side of the trailer and I see Sky like lying on the lobby and he was like looking at me like kind of like please help me I'm like mm. I'm like oh gosh so I said come on Sky let's go and then he like he gets up and then he walks himself over to the car so I'm like if he's walking he's fine he gets in the car we're heading home I'm driving nothing you know like nothing bad happened yet then I, I look behind um, where he's at and he was just acting really weird so as he so I decided to maybe he was just I thought maybe he was just overwhelmed by the customers and all like the noise so I'm like maybe I can calm him down by petting him so I'm like come on this guy come to the front seat so he gets up he comes to the front seat he lies in the passenger seat I'm just like as I'm driving I'm like petting Sky then um he started to act even more weird and then he got into the bottom of the passenger seat and where the like where the you know and is he was like hiding his face in the corner I'm like at that point I knew something was wrong because I know that when Sky is hurt or when something is wrong with Sky he likes to hide his face so I didn't take him home instead I take him to the uh animal hospital which is right by my house and when I got to the animal hospital you know, I open the passenger door and I'm like, come on Sky, let's go. Cause if he could walk before, why can't he walk now? Then I grabbed him and he wouldn't, still wouldn't come. So I thought maybe I, I had to carry him. So I opened the passenger seat and then I kind of like put my arms in and try to carry him, but he was heavier than I thought. And so like, I kind of like flopped him and he literally could not move at this point. And he was like stuck in this position and he was like staring at me with his eyes um, and I was, freaking out at that point. So I ran into the hospital, told the nurses that my dog got hit by a car, had them come out, and they even brought the doctor and the stretchers, and the, only the doctor could touch Sky. No one else was able to touch Sky. The doctor touched to make sure everything was okay. He picked him up, put him on the stretcher, and then bringing him to the hospital. And I, at this point, was like crying because I could see that Sky is in pain and he could not move. And the entire time, Sky was looking at me. Um, didn't take his eyes off me. So we went into the hospital, um, you know, their thing, put oxygen mask on him, gave him fluids, you know, did all the emergency room stuff. And I, at this point, I'm like bawling my eyes and the nurse like, I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't see this. We're going to have to take you to another room, the waiting room. Come, would you come with me? Shut the curtains like you see in Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so I went to the other room. I'm like freaking out, I'm trying to calm down, call my dad, call my sister, told them the bad news. Um, they came immediately and we we're all waiting for the doctor and the doctor came in she's like okay so I'm trying to assess him I gave him some pain medication it's looking like he has a lot of bruising on his lungs uh, we're gonna do an x-ray to see if he's had any broken bones then finally she said but I need you to know that there's a chance he might not live and then at that point it really sunk in that this is real, you know, there's a chance he might not live. And I almost fell to the ground. I remember the doctor having to try to pick me up, but I would not let her. And she had to run back to help Sky, so she left. And as I'm still crying and crying, five minutes later, the doctor came back in. And this was it. She said, if you want to say bye to your dog, this is your chance. We can't save him. And so we ran back to the, you know, to the hospital room. 
and we see Sky lying there just gasping for air with the oxygen mask, you know, and when he saw like when he saw me, he was just like like she's here and then I just pet him as I said my goodbye and I well I wasn't accepting it first. I'm like, please save him to anything, crying out to God, like oh, just please like begging. I was like begging them to save Sky. And the doctor said that, you know, all I can do right now is give him a medication that would put him to sleep to ease the pain because he's in a lot of pain. And at that moment, I, you know, I was in shock. I just, I could not, everything was just like fading out. And all I knew was just me and Sky. And this was my final goodbye. And so I just pet him and pet him. I just told him that he's going to be okay. And then a few minutes later, you know, he took his last breath. And Who lets people in my house? I swear my house is like the home that people just comes in and like you never know if people are here. <laughs> so Javen here is my new Rachel. <laughs> the new and approved Rachel. <laughs> okay, what would Rachel say? Well that's actually not true. You can't be you can't be new because you're not a girl and you don't have blonde hair. <laughs> What is going on? Okay, okay, you're a doctor. Do you want to see? Javen, Javen, you're a doctor. Can you assess my feet? The patient was riding a bicycle and got distracted by the sunset and then tumbled. <laughs> and tumbled. And sprained her metatarsals. So zoom in on this. Look at the difference. Wow. Do y'all see the difference? Do not yeah. hit it! I you're like, <laughs> no, no, Javen. Careful, like, extremely, like, I swear this. Ah, 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 you know, <laughs> it, you know, I don't trust you. I just, I know. <laughs> no, no, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Ow! Ow! <laughs> just be careful, okay? You're so demanding. <laughs> I don't know, Rachel. I'm just doing your camera and making a video about being manipulated. <laughs> <laughs> is that that swat? Actually, it is. You can tell. Like, you can't really tell the ball anymore. It's gone. It's nice. It's, it's um, I think we need to put some. <gasps> the tiger thing, you know? The tiger bomb! Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, it's an Asian thing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Finally, somebody gets me. Wait, <laughs> you're Asian too? My dad is. <gasps> We're a family! Okay, he's not, but we call him Asian. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> Where's Rachel when you need her? Oh my god, my pasta fell! Right, I'm Huang. Three jackets right there. <laughs> I feel like everyone is being so one. overly dramatic right now. Yeah, don't use. Okay, I'm not gonna use my jacket. It's just my hands are so buttery. Just lick it. Look at real good. <laughs> <laughs>